Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be uh, drawing a face. And I'm just showing you real quick. A lot of you have been asking about drawing faces. And I'm just showing you their um, different faces that I do. I always do different faces. I don't think I do them the same uh, at all. So I'm using a T-square. And you can get this at your craft store. You can get this at Staples, whatever. It is like three dollars it's cheap as it can be you can make your own too you just need that straight line um i'm kind of showing you here you know and then you put that piece there it could be a popsicle stick or something and then you'll know to keep it straight because i draw everything uphill <clears throat> my brain is a mess between medications and chronic illnesses so you know it makes it a lot easier you put it on the edge and just kind of draw your lines. So I'm going to draw my first line and it's going to be uh, where my nose will go, I guess. You'll see me change this quite a few times. And I'm going to move it down. Where am I going to do? Am I going to go down or up? Okay, I'm going to go up about an inch or two. Now this varies. You'll see I did erase it a couple times to show you different ways. That's more than an inch, right? I don't know what that is, but. And then I go down like a half an inch for the mouth. And I put that edge on the, yep, there you go. And then I go down the middle. And I apologize for my lighting. It keeps going in and out. I don't know. I have to have Dave fix, help me fix this because it's really annoying. So you can see eyes, nose, mouth. That's a basic. Uh, there are measurements. You can look in your drawing books, but. I don't really follow them. I just kind of do what I want to do. Now, here I'm showing you that your eyes are usually the same width apart as they are long. So if I do uh, an inch in the middle, and then I'll do an inch on each side of that, I have my eyes and I have a very good, uh, you know, distance between. Um, now, so this varies for me. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. You can see that, you know, when you're drawing a normal face, you want it to be symmetrical and even and all those kind of things. I never do. I just kind of draw what I draw. I'll start out like this, but you'll see I erase this later and show you uh, how you can make it a different looking eye. And I take it down a little bit. So then I make her kind of an odd girl, which I show you when I'm done painting her at the end. I'm going to put her on a canvas, but she, uh, she came out good. So, you know, cute. So now I'm going to go down for the nose. And how I do the nose, you want that middle line to be the middle of your, oh, see, I'm moving it up. I'm moving it up. And I'm going to keep that line there, the longer line, as the lips. Because I was like, oh, that's way too low for a nose. Now, I've done low noses like that. I've done a lot. It just changes. You know, everybody has a different look to their face, different shape. So then I go and I draw my eyelid on top and I go from the dot to the dot. It's like connecting the dots. And then on the bottom. And then here. Fixing my line because I drew it wrong, you know, drew it up when I was erasing it. And then I'm just going to go with a U but it's like stretched out, you know, like a stretched out you or uh, um, parentheses upside down, I guess more. And then I put these little hooks on the end for the nostrils. Everybody's nose is different. So really don't fuss too much because, you know, especially if you're learning to draw, just do it so you get it down pat and then go for it. And I'm showing you this start to finish. So more than it being a uh, instructions on how to draw a face, it, it's just really going from start to finish to show you how it looks, um, how you can change it, and that kind of thing. Now I'm moving it down a little bit. I was like, oh, I, it might be too close now. So I just erase it and move it down. And this is something that I do all the time. I sit with my little notebook where I draw. I have a thousand different faces that I draw. And uh, I'll sit and keep erasing. Some people are very lucky. They don't have to. I do. 
Plus, I'm never happy with it. Like, I'm, you know, there has to come a point when I'm like, okay, done. Let's move on. And now I'm just doing the lips. You'll do, you know, instead of doing a, um, well, you can't even see nothing because I'm on my hand. You'll do another dip, you see, like right there. And then you just do the two humps. My humps, my humps, my humps. And then you draw a little line underneath to mark where the bottom of your lip goes. Now, when this ended, I have very juicy lips. I don't have juicy lips in life. Emily has juicy lips. But I made her have a little juicy lips. But I made her an odd girl, so. And you see, we got a basic of a face. Now I'm going to go in and just erase the lines. What the heck I'm telling you there is I'm probably singing and I, I don't know. Now I'm drawing a circle right in the middle. Look at that. A full circle top to bottom. Now I'm making an eyelid. I take it corner to corner underneath the top of, you know, the eye that I drew. And I'm just erasing in the middle there so you can see. And just going in there and i'm showing you like look at the difference how the eye looks now the other eye was like oh surprised hello and the other eye is like yeah boy yeah you know and i'm just erasing it and showing you and you can see now how it's starting to look like an eye i mean a, a, a face and i'm going in to put the pupil in the same way i just make a smaller uh circle and then just coloring it with lead so you can you know you can see it you will look and watch a thousand different people draw and they do it a thousand different ways. You have to find what's comfortable for you. This has just be, been how I do it. And like I said, I, I can't really do the same face over and over again because it just never comes out that way. Depends on my, you know, how bad my hands hurt to draw. It depends on my mood, depends on what I'm going for. But I'm erasing all the lines so you can see. Look, we got a basic of a face. And I break my eraser. Because <laughs> I have to do everything so hard because my hands, it always, even like mechanical pencils, I can't use a normal seven. I have to go like into a nine. Because the lead needs to be thicker because I end up breaking them all the time. I've talked about this many times. Now, I really love the way she come out, and you're going to see it soon. But uh, I'm just playing with the nose again. I'm like, you know what? I want to take it up a little bit more. There I am erasing with my broken eraser. Ain't no shame in my game. Now I just take up the bridge of the nose. I just always do one side. You definitely can do two sides. Uh, it's totally up to you. Now I'm going to do the wings on the eyes. I got to sharpen my pencil though. And I've been doing these, the, the eyeliner like this uh, a, a couple of them. It's hard to see with the lead being a little bit shiny. And I just do like a wing, like you're doing your eyeliner. You don't have to. It just, But I'm showing you how it changes the whole face now. Like the face was very basic, very like, huh. And now I'm just going to play around and darken the eyes and this kind of thing. So you can see my eyes are even there. And I don't know if I show you or I erase that eye first, but. Oh, no, I don't erase it twice. But look, I mean, look how cute. Count, count. Eyes are even and all. But I'm going to keep it that way. And I'm just darkening it with my pencil. You don't need, this is printer paper, by the way. This isn't even like paper, mixed media paper, which I love. And watercolor paper, which I also love. Bristol paper, hello. Uh, but I just grab printer paper. And I draw and draw and draw. And that's what I use. I like it because if I glue this onto a canvas, which I'm gonna going to, 
God, I wish I wouldn't have erased. I really like that the way that face is coming. Anyway, um, if I would have, uh, if I would have what? Oh, I like the way that the paper uh, goes onto the canvas because uh, it's a little bit thinner. It's not like having watercolor paper. It's a little thicker, but you know, it, it doesn't matter. I use what you have. I just go to printer paper and I'm going to tell you it's because from back in the day, you know, what's so funny is watching me do this. I was like, oh, I like it a lot better on camera than I did in life because I'm right on top of it. But you realize how hard you are on yourself for, I'm just talking about have make sure the chin goes in the middle of the lips, you know, and just to go ahead and change it if you want it up higher or not. But it's funny when you watch, you know, going back and watching my video or your own stuff and it's like, oh, okay, it's, it's not as bad as when I was right on top of it. Now I'm just going in with my light flush from Folk Art, one of my favorites, you guys know. And I'm painting it and I want to show you, you know, how it starts becoming a face. Now, you know, I moved the chin up and this and that. Now I didn't have to, but I did. But I'm going to go in and clean up all of those pencil marks and, and that kind of thing. Throw some paint down on that neck. I'm not worrying how, you know, how much coverage I got right now because I just want to show you the face. Look how fast I go. Woo, woo, woo. But that T-square does... It does help me. I don't use it necessarily all the time because I just go with what I do because I just feel that's just what's coming from me and that's what it's to be. But now I'm going to show you. If you mess up, take your paint and go over it. You could throw your gesso on it. You could throw more. You can see I'm just doing the light flesh. And when it dries, I'm going to do a, a, the eye a little bit bigger and it's going to be off. It's not going to match the other one again, but I don't care. That's what, you know, ended up going with. Be careful when you go to draw on your acrylic paint. You should really let it dry for like a good 20 minutes, half hour, if not overnight, really. Um, you don't want to dig in, you know. No, I'm just making that eye a little bit, a little bit bigger. And you can see I brought it down a little bit. Just to show you, that's just how I play when I do you know, my eye girls. And honestly, sometimes when I sit and draw, that's how it comes out anyway. I just love doing art. So to me, it's like, I just love doing it. Sometimes they come out like crap. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes you have to throw gesso over it. Sometimes you don't. And then I'm just going back in with my pencil and I'm adding, you know, the winged eyeliner and doing the whole thing. But you see the difference? My sister's agitating me, sending me pictures of the Oreo, carrot cake Oreos. And I was like, oh my God, they look so good. And she was like, they are delicious. Okay. She's so stupid. <laughs> so she's torturing me. All right. I'm an Oreo freak. Like that's my downfall. Oh, now look, I gave him a beard which I'm going to show you, you just take the paint and go over it. And I'm doing some eyebrows. Watch how it all comes together. Now, remember when you're, when you're doing a regular, more realistic face or whatever, that shadow is under our chin. Like if you look in the mirror, you see, you have a, ch a shadow. I uh, take that back a little bit, but you know, you do have a shadow, uh, a little shadow, but I would probably smush that out a little bit, you know, make it a little bit lighter, but I'm going to paint over it and it doesn't matter. But look, just add an eyebrows, what that does. No, I add a little bit of, uh, I think I do eyelashes. Yep. And just a little bit of eyelashes to decide, do I want eyelashes? Do I not? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows with me? I paint them off. Now I'm going to take some What color did I use? Oh, I'm showing you the bangs. That's right. I'm just going in and doing bangs and just doing like wispy ends. 
I've been loving pencil marks and like when I do hair and stuff, I just, I like to keep them in. I don't know. It's just something I'm going through. It's a phase. It's a phase, mom. Now I'm showing you how I paint them this way. And then, you know, you can also paint them straight across as I'm showing you. And I am using the autumn leaves color, which is a bit orange. It's a little, yeah, it's coming up the burnt orange color on here. Another one of my faves. And I'm just kind of following the lines that I did. I'm giving it, painting it in. I'm going to show you, you'll see coming up, um, I think it's, it might be in the next video. I just go in with the skin color and I, then I'll make my bangs with a little bit of parts in them because I kind of dig that. But straight across is cool too. It's whatever you want. And I also change the hair a little bit. I bring it across the neck. Now I like this. I put it in her eye, uh, in her eye. I put it in her eyebrow, uh, eyelids rather. Um, and I liked it at first, but you're gonna see I changed it and I made it like a lilac purple and I love it even more. And of course, you know, I give her green eyes cause I'm my daughter. I don't think I really do any, that's like what I go for. It's like, oh, green eyes. Now, I used a water watercolor marker in red. Why? I don't know. Because then it's smudged a little bit. Now, if I would have just finished her, you know, like, oh, okay, I'm finished, it would have been fine. I didn't. And when I went to do something else, it smudged. So that's why her lips, you'll see at the end, got a little juicier. But hey, now this is just a pen I'm using to go in with, to see you know, if the eyes are in the place I want them to be, and I'll paint over it. But you can see I got the green eyes going. Coloring in the pupils just so we can see a little bit better. Now, when I paint over these and everything at the end, you know, you can add uh, a little bit of gold in the eyes, a little bit of brown, whatever. Like Emily has you know, she got a little bit of gold in her eye and brown and, you know, so you can really add the dimension that you want. And I'm just going to try to erase off that smudge. But what happened is the paint wasn't all the way dry. So when I, and this is a little tip, make sure your paint's dry because when you use pencil in it, what's going to happen is it's going to um, soak in. So that's why you'll see me, I'm sorry, I'm itching my arm, so itchy. That's why you see me just going and edging it around and, you know, making it, you know, more of just the neck. And I'm just cleaning everything up. I don't know if I smudged yet or not, but I did at some point. So you can see I made the face smaller in my drawing that I did there rather than there. It's no big deal. Now what am I doing? Oh, I'm showing you, look, watch how the face changes when I add more of the paint hair color. And you'll see, it. look how it changes it. Now I'm bringing over some, some hair, some wispies. And I just keep going and make it, and it just changed the whole face just that little bit. And it'll even change more. You'll see at the end when I make the little uh, things in the bangs. You know, so. And now I'm going to show you as I started coloring her and then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it on here. So I did her face. I painted in her eyes and everything. Now I took lavender and I drew, I just sketched on the outside where I wanted her shirt to be because obviously she can't just be a floating head, which I like doing floating heads. I'm not ashamed, but so I'm just taking lavender in and I'm painting in, you know, kind of where I sketched in. 
Um, I ended up covering, this paint was very opaque <laughs> and it covered my lines and I added a little bit of water to like kind of wash it out a little bit, but it didn't do anything. You still can't see my line. So I just had to live with it. it. It still turned out good. You'll see what I did. And you see, I just put in, you know, around her neck and she came out good. Now I'm taking a little bit of white, titanium white, with a little bit of my lavender color that I used. And I'm mixing it up. And I have a stamp. It's a clock stamp. And I'm just putting it on there to use the stamp to sh show you guys, too. You can do this with if you don't have ink pads. And I'm just stamping it on a lighter lavender, obviously, to give her. Yep. And then I got that. Look how cool. And I just go back into the parts, you know, where she needed some more. Now I'll be cutting her out. So if it goes on the outside, who cares? I'm just outlining it a little bit more. But I end up doing it, I, th I believe, in black, which I ended up liking more. I should have got a, a dark purple, but I didn't. <laughs> Now I'm just finishing like her hair, like putting some more of the autumn leaves in it to, you know, and look how pretty it looks on the shirt. Now I won't lie. I did take my Mod Podge Ultra in gloss. I accidentally picked up gloss rather than the um, matte. And you can see I sprayed it on her because I wanted to seal the face in so I can paint over the lips. Uh, and the hair and whatnot, and she got a little glossy. I'm not mad at it, but I see that as you're looking at it, you can see a little bit of the gloss. Now I'm going to go in, and I'm just going in and adding those little bangs. And you see, it's just as simple as that. I'm just touching up little areas, you know, it's not a big deal. And then I take my black permanent marker in a second and just go trace out her hair and you know, around her face, touching up the red where I screwed it up. I really dig how she came out. Like I said, I already have an idea of the canvas that I want to do. So now I'm just taking a little bit of the black and I'm just going around out, outlining it, giving her a little like you know, where her arms would be, her neck, in between her hair. Let me see what else. I'm just watching. I'm like, oh, okay. Taking a little bit more of that purple. And that's what I put as her eyeshadow. And it came out so nice. It really did. It really was better than the orange. And it went really good with the green eyes. So I'm happy with that. All right, guys, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Thank you for watching. Any questions, of course, leave them down below and any comments as well. Because I love the comments. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.